Oh, that's all right. I laugh myself sometimes. No Country for Old Men in 4K, which is coming in a 4K and Blu-ray like combo, but also you can just get it in a Blu-ray as well. Um, it's coming out in December, like I mentioned, previously released on Blu-ray. I don't think I think I stuck with the DVD. I don't even think I ever purchased the Blu-ray. Here it is. Kind of a decent slip. It's got some embossing on it. They got nice. they wrote digital copy like real big on the front. It's pretty <laughs> la- lousy. Two disc collector's edition digital copy. <laughs> like thanks. Um but yep, so I have this and we'll um definitely be picking this up. Um this is the fourth 4K Cohen Brothers film. You had Blood Simple, Big Lebowski, No Country for Old Men now and then fargo that came out from shout select so they've kind of had a few all over the place um it kind of seemed like a matter of time to me to be honest before this got announced in 4k and that it got announced from criterion which makes total sense with all due respect that don't make a lot of sense it does but that's nice i mean blood simple we expected yeah they, there was already a blue from criterion yeah there was no criterion no country for old men previously no there wasn't and it's coming with a, a decent amount of stuff i mean obviously the whole 4k restoration supervised by roger deakins himself good old deakins is back the deak the deak's back dolby vision hdr new conversations with joel and eaton ethan um Deacons himself comes back with it for a conversation. Got Eaton some- and Deacons got together and chopped it up. Eaton and Deacon. Archival interviews, behind the scenes documentary, three documentaries in the making of. So quite a lot. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Pretty, pretty awesome. awesome that Eaton Deke came back. Eaton Deke. Keep running that mouth here as I'm going to take you in the back and screw you. I don't know about this art. Why? What's wrong with it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's for me. It's just kind Why? of. I don't know. Why? Why? Be constructive with your criticism. Oh. I don't know. It just seems so. I don't know. Is it just plain bland? I, I don't know. Like I get what you're saying. It, it, it's not something. Nobody's going to put this in top five artworks of the year. But dude, it, none of the original artwork was ever that inspiring. To no, me. it wasn't. And I and I think it's maybe a hard movie to sum up in a poster or a picture. They always they always focus on Anton Chigurh to some degree. Like it's like his face, like superimposed over top of like I think. That's what I have. Is what's his Earth. name? Like, yeah, exactly. Um, of Josh Brolin, like running or something. So it makes sense that he's on it, but he's just kind of like standing in the parking lot with his back to us. Was this guy supposed to be the ultimate badass? Come on, that character, that villain became one of the most iconic cinematic villains of this century. Is he represented that, well here? Not that there's much competition, but he definitely is. What's that? Is he represented well here? Yes, it's mysterious, and it's setting it up like, what am I looking at? And if I've seen the movie, yeah, I, I like it. I guess, I'll tell you what, I, like I said, I get what you're saying. It's not something that I'm, you know, going to write home about. I, I'm not applaud. I'm not giving this a standing ovation, but I don't think it's bad. I'm giving it the side eye. Give it the side eye. Give it the side eye. I guess I think if you had never seen this movie before, I maybe didn't really know what was going on in it, what the characters were, this would be an intriguing uh, art to look at. You're like... Weird, desolate parking lot, strange man with a canister, and what appears to be a shotgun with, like, a silencer on it. Okay, I'm interested, but knowing what it is, I don't know. I just, I wanted something more, maybe. I wouldn't worry about it. It's the vibe of the movie. All right. It's sandy looking. Yeah. Would you you say that? Would you say this misrepresents the vibe of the movie? No. And that's where I think it it doesn't bother me. All right. Well, F me, I guess. But... I will say it is a top tier Coen Brothers movie. I don't um I don't know where you put this in their filmography in terms of, you know, what you like or don't like. I remember at the time when this came out that the ending was a little bit divisive. You know what's funny? I've only seen it once mm-hmm. when it came out. So I'm really interested in picking this up and watching it again. Yeah. I, I remember loving it. I remember thinking it was great. Great cast. I mean, Brolin's awesome. Obviously, he's great in it. My girl, Kelly McDonald, or our girl, Kelly McDonald, Diane. great. Yeah, 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 she's awesome. Woody, awesome. Yeah, I love the cast. And and Tommy Lee. Tommy Lee's from uh, Motley Crue. <sighs> but I mean, come on, dude. Barnum stole it from anyone. Everyone. Yes. Yeah. Years later, like everyone yeah. you're naming, I- I'm thinking, yep, they were great. They were great. But they're not etched into my brain like yeah. Bardem was in this. And when you asked about Cohen brothers, I've never really ranked them. Mm-hmm. I never really, that's weird. I've never really looked at their films as like, wow, I got to come up with a top five. I have to, I, don't, I honestly don't know what that would be. They're, they're, genre- so, they're so varied. I was going to say, that's what they're all over the place with genre. It is kind of hard to say. Yeah. Like, I, like it'd be very 
strange to compare No Country for Old Men to Raising Arizona. Lady Killers. <laughs> no. Did you think the ending of this movie was divisive at all? I don't remember it. Okay. That's what I was saying. I haven't seen it since it came out. I do remember what you're talking about. I remember a feeling like it was open-ended. I, what, didn't it involve like Woody sitting down talking with another character? No. Uh, no. Well, at the, at the end, there's a Tommy Lee Jones just shares like a story and that's how they end it. But there, it was just more about the resolution of the Josh Brolin character and the resolution of the Anton Sugar character. Yeah. Like how they, those characters uh, stories got resolved was kind of uh, like, well, huh? Wait, 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 or why? Wait, wait, wait. Or so, wait, no, no, no. that okay, kind of thing. Right now, I, I didn't want to spoil anything. You said Tom Lee Jones. Now, okay, no, no, no. They end no, the story with him that. telling a dream yes, that yes, he had yes, to his yes, wife. Yes, yes, I remember that completely. Now, mm-hmm. no, that didn't bother me at all. Kind of surprised to hear you say that. Honestly, I'd love. I'm going to revisit it with fresh eyes. Maybe my opinion. I remember at the time I didn't agree with that being bad, or no, I didn't. Yeah, it's an excellent movie. It's a great thriller. I mean, and you mentioned Raising Arizona. Where are we at with that? Why hasn't that come out? I mean, are we going to get a criterion of that, or are we just going to get some steel book? Well, this whole thing is just who knows who. And then over here, you have favoritism. You'd be happy with a four. I would. Of Raising, but Arizona. where is it? I think it deserves this. Not this art, but I think it deserves something a little classier. Raising Arizona. I mean, Raising Actually, Arizona spawn. It could go with steel. You know what you're going to get if that gets announced. You're going to get? get. You're going to get a big old Nick Cage smile on that cover. That's true. I won't get the original poster. You, you, art. Yeah, you better watch what you wish for on that. They're going to show. They're going to. Yeah, that's they're true. Plaster him all over that. That's true. He sells. 